Hey, y'all, coming to y'all with a message per huge. So I was thinking, I was like, you know, one of the most sad things as women that we can do is be um, in the space of throwing shade. And the reason why I say that it is sad is because we there are a few things that happen when we do that, right? Throwing shade stems, number one, through insecurity. So when someone is insecure about something within themselves that they see maybe someone else reflective of in a positive way or something that they're doing that makes them feel like the things about themselves aren't in, in line, they feel the need to throw shade. A lot of times it also is for deep-seated hatred for self. When other people have hate for themselves, something else someone else exudes makes them feel insecure once again back to insecurities that they need to throw shade and other times there are very immature ways that some of us let's be honest need to heal and grow so that we don't show up in that way so that we need to throw shade in an indirect way rather than addressing what the actual situation at hand is with the other party and all aspects of what i just named for you all as examples shade is unnecessary when you are solid with who you are and when you are someone who uses adult words to communicate your adult feelings if you have a feeling of indifference and feeling of frustration of sadness of um hurt Whatever your emotions are, if you have those feelings, even though they're fleeting, some are a little bit more lasting depending on the situation. There is a level of due diligence that you need to do for yourself and to the person on the opposite end of that. If you don't have the audacity, the courage, or the wherewithal to say something about whatever you feel to the person that it's being directed toward, you probably should keep that shit to yourself. Because when you get in the space of saying things indirectly, but not saying it to the other person, you make yourself look stupid and you make yourself look really immature. And the reason why I say that is because the time that you spent throwing shade to someone in whatever avenue you choose to do it, you could have taken that time to address the person, call them up, Call them out on their shit if they made you feel way respectfully because you also have to remind, remember there's a person on the receiving end of that calling people out peace. So it needs to be within respect. And you need to also sometimes just not say anything, keep the shit to yourself or just ignore your feelings since you don't have the, the maturity level to approach the person that it's with and just remove them from your mind because for you to keep on finding spaces, pockets, and moments of opportunity to tear another person down by the shade that you throw. You look crazy, not them. Because whoever it is that you're throwing shade to might not even know you're talking about or to them. Sometimes they do. It just depends. But at any rate, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't engage in that type of behavior because it's whack, it's immature, and unnecessary. Oh. I hope this message helps someone. Ugh.